stick around and I'll tell you exactly what these two things have got in common. So my van's been stood for about a month. I go to unlock my van with my key, press the button, nothing. And then there's only one door lock on these full transits, that's in the driver's door. All the others work off central locking. So that's the only point of entry. If this isn't working, sorry, if this isn't working, the only point of entry is the driver's door lock. So I put the key in the door, turn the key, nothing. So if you do own a full transit, <laughs> make sure your door locks work. Because if they don't, and the battery goes flat in your fob, you're locked out. It's as simple as that. I thought, that's no problem. I've got some of these little round batteries. I'm sure it can't be that hard to change a battery in one of these. And then I realise it's actually sealed together. It's a sealed unit. I'm like, you're supposed to change the battery. No, you don't change the batteries in these. They're supposed to be lifetime battery. Rechargeable. And it turns out they actually charge when you put them in the ignition barrel, turn the key, turn the engine on. It charges your key at the same time. And so I did a bit of research and it turns out it works by induction. So uh, get in touch with Ford. They want nearly £300 for a battery to change that battery in there. It's 300 quid. can you believe it? I think I'm not paying £300 to change the battery in my key fob. The only thing I can find on the internet was how to charge a BMW contactless key by placing the key on top of a phone charger, one of these contactless phone chargers charge the phone by induction right so i thought that's a brilliant idea but i haven't got one of those phone chargers so i'm upstairs i'm brushing my teeth and then suddenly i realize hang about my toothbrush there's no electrical terminals on this it's electric it charges somehow some mysterious way maybe this is charged using induction as well maybe just maybe the charger for my toothbrush just maybe this will charge this so that day i got my charger and i put the charger on top of the on top of the key like that i thought maybe that'll work and i left it for about two hours and i thought about oh, no that's not going to work so i got the phone and i left the charger on top like that wedged with two bits of wood left it laying there anyway i messed about of it all day changing different positions this way that way up that way that way throughout the day and then about 20 minutes ago i went out to the van let's try it push the button and yes it worked it actually opened my van put the key in the ignition started it up oh mate i can't tell you how relieved i was the relief it was like this big weight lift off my shoulders like, i've got that means i don't have to pay 300 pound after all i thought i can't wait to share share this information with you my subscribers <laughs> anyway if you like this video please do consider subscribing to my channel don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you won't miss a thing but most importantly do leave a comment below i'd love to hear from you thanks for watching ta for now see you on the next one